frames, million frames. I am a self-proclaimed salesperson. I have a simple mission. I would like to sell a million frames over a period of five years. Crazy, right? Anyway, over the last couple of months, I have only managed to sell 600 pieces. So I'm way behind schedule. I have been getting lots of questions about sizes because with well, wall hangings and frames, uh, it comes with sizes. Uh, you will hear of A4, A5, A8, A0, and most of you have been asking me, so if you're going to deliver A2, what size exactly is that, or A1, or A3? So today I would like to take this opportunity and just describe and disclaimer, please allow me to be a layman about it. Most people will not have tape measures in their houses, so it would not be fair to tell them to use uh, tape measures. So now I would like to start with something that is, I would say, familiar to all of us. Uh, this size that I'm holding here is an A4. This is a standard document that if you go to your printer, if you're printing a letter or your divorce paper or whatever it is that you're printing, most probably you will print it on a standard A4 size. This is familiar to uh, many people. So I would like to use this as reference. Now, uh, the first thing to mention is that um, the sizes become bigger as you decrease the numbers. So if I can give an example, an A4 will be bigger than an A8. So A8 will be very small, A4 will be your standard size uh, printing paper. Now, so how does it work? So uh, basically, since we've decided to use this A4, uh, from there, if you want to move from A4, let's say, to A3, you need to double the size of A4. So basically, if I deliver a wall hanging to you and I tell you that it's an A3, if you would like to prove it, you can just take a piece of A4 and make it double and you will see that it will exactly fit in A3. Let's give an example. So for example, if I'm holding an A4 here, like this, this is an A4. So if I duplicate this A4 like this, so this frame of this size here that carries the two A4s will be an A3, right? So if you want to get to A2, you take A3 and you double it. So basically an A2 will be 4 times A4. I hope I'm not making things very uh, complicated. So that is when you want to increase the size of a wall hanging. If you want to reduce, you want to move from A4 to A5, what you do is that you split the A4 by half. So if I tell you that I'm bringing you a wall hanging or a frame that is A5, A, A, A5 size, it means that Look at the size of A4. If it's a piece of paper, you can fold it. Once you fold an A4, what you're looking at is an A5. That A5, if you want to get to A6, you fold it another time, that will be an A6. I hope that is uh, very clear. So, so let's have a look at another example. I'd like to uh, take this down. Oh, so by the way, this size, this specific uh, hanging that you're looking at here, this is a very nice uh, hanging. Uh, it's a photo of this uh, mountain, a road there. Um, it's an A2 size that is printed on canvas. So this specific one is is uh, canvas. I can show you how it looks like this side. You can see the thickness. So this one is mounted on canvas. So this one is A2 size. And you know how to verify, right? Now let's take another example so this one here is also this one is also uh, done on canvas so let's see what size this one is do you like it by the way you can see that this is just a standard photo but some touches have been done on the background so those are some of the editing that we also do so be sure to ask for whatever it is that you would like to have so this is again our standard a4 so if we place it there so as you can see already on top of this a4 there is some space left remember to count for that also so this is a4 uh, I double it or I duplicate it like that so I have two a4s so basically this one should be um, an A3 but it's bigger than A3 so 
but I hope you get uh, the point. So this has uh, two of A4s and it still has other remains there. So this should be a standard A3, but it's actually bigger than A3. Let me see whether I can also give you another example here. There is this beautiful lady here. So this one is not done on canvas. This one is just done on an MDF board. It's just a printout on an, on, on an MDF board. So when I compare it to my A4, as you can see, it's bigger than an A4. So it's it's not an A3 really exactly because as you can see, it, it doesn't double the A4, but you can't also call it an A4. So it's bigger, quite bigger than A4. Now, so there is also uh, the small ones. I'm not sure whether this one will fit here. So if I take an example of this one, for example, if you compare it with our A4, you see it will actually be, uh, can you call it half? If we can place it like that. So we can roughly call it a half of A4. So if it's a half of A4, so then we can comfortably call it an A5, right? I hope that makes sense. I didn't want to make this video to be very long. Uh, on the next video, I'll be showing you different kinds of frames and wall hangings that we have. So thank you for passing by if you have any questions about these sizes. Uh, so how, uh, how far do they go? If we are moving from A4 to A3 to A2 to A1 and to A0, next from there where do we go so from a0 we start adding a number in front of a so for example if you have a very big wall hanging that is a0 and you want bigger than that so then you introduce a number before a so you can say 2a0 so how did we get 2a0 let's start from a4 we took a4 doubled it and we got an a3 took a3 doubled it and we got a2 took the a2 doubled it and we got the a1 took the a1 doubled it and we got the a2 from there the game changes if uh, sorry and we got the a0 from a1 if we double the a1 we got the a0 from there the game changes if you want a bigger than a0 then it becomes 2a0 4a0 6a0 etc you guys are smart i'm sure it makes sense if it doesn't uh, let me know i'll be happy to explain i didn't want this video to be very long so thank you so much please go back to work bye bye